Hey everybody, so in this video we're going to take a quick look at this new uh, FreeSky compatible S-Bus receiver. It's called the iRange RX800 and uh, it has uh, S-Bus and telemetry which is over here on S-Bus and RX. I don't know what A1 and D0 are for exactly. I think maybe A1 is for receiver voltage. I have no idea what D0 is for but comes with this, uh, basically just comes with the, these two things. It comes with the connector with these cables. Obviously the black and the red is going to be for your 5 volts. And you get the receiver itself. And this is a single antenna receiver. I believe the specs say the antenna is 15 centimeters long. And uh, this is a pretty small uh, receiver. It's uh, actually a lot smaller than the XSR receiver. We can get that here so we can compare. So here's the XSR receiver next to this new iRange X and you can see that it's a little bit shorter than the XSR and not as not as wide either. Let's see here about it's hard to estimate, maybe four, three or four centimeters, sorry, centimeters, three or four millimeters narrower. But you can obviously tell it's a lot smaller than the XSR, which is already pretty small. So uh, this is, um, uh, I think it uses D, uh, D8 mode on the Tyrannus, and it's an eight channel S bus receiver with um, RSSI on channel nine. Not saying that the range on this is about 600 meters or less, so it's probably not. Uh, going to be going as far as something as an XSR, uh, but would be pretty useful for something uh, on a smaller scale like a brushed micro and uh, just uh, to fly nearby. Okay, so getting a weight measurement here, they're roughly about four grams. And uh, for comparison, the XSR comes in at 4 grams, but that's without the connector. Throw on the connector and still 4 grams. So about the same. Okay, let's peel this sticker off and take a closer look at this. Okay, so it's a, that's about as far as I can zoom in and get it to focus. So you got your antenna here with a micro FL connector and you got your bind button. And here's the back, it's got some foam or something underneath this uh, heat tray. I'm going to take that off. Okay, so here's a little a closer look at it with the heat shrink off. Here's the front. And here's the back with that black foam removed. This looks uh vaguely familiar like a lot of the DIY FreeSky receivers but uh, looks like they've uh, miniaturized it somewhat to get this in a smaller form factor. Okay as usual I forgot to do something and I forgot to measure the actual uh, dimensions of this so I'm going to go ahead and do that now with my caliper. Okay, the receiver is 24.2 millimeters long and it's 15 millimeters wide. Anyway guys, I'm going to test this out, do some range testing, get this on a, on a, on a little micro quad and fly it around, see how it does, uh, see how the telemetry works. I'm going to do that in a future video, so please stay tuned to my channel for that. And um, let me know if you guys have any questions or comments about this receiver, and I'll try and address those in the next video uh, regarding this receiver, because I think there's going to be a fair amount of interest in this and so uh, I'm going to take a look at those comments and and try and incorporate those into the next video. Okay guys so hope you like this video let me know in the comments and I will talk to you guys in the next video.